Hey guys, it's Carson. Um, this is my new profile because I can. I lost my other one, but okay. Today I was gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Um, hang on, let's see this. Oh, let's do right. Alright, today I'm going to be showing you my miniature blur gun that I made today. Just a minute ago, actually. Um, here it is. Uh, it's just PVC pipe. It's just, uh, it's like six, I don't know. It's like about a foot fit. About two feet of uh, just regular PVC pipe that I got at my local hardware store down the road for free because it was just scrap. And I just, uh, yeah, I took it horribly. I just took some string that I got from my hardware store and just wrapped it around it right here and right here. And then took my super glue, my handy dandy super glue, and super glued the ends so they won't come off. So they're good, like handles. But yeah, that's how big it is. And uh, this is my dart. It's just, we just bought bamboo skewers and just cut it down so that way uh, it wasn't so long. It wasn't like out here. Right here, and then I have this thing. My grandpa gave me this kit, and uh, I just have like I don't have much stuff in it right now, but it's like a fishing box. But I have stuff in there to make darts. And this thing, it looks like crap, it looks like nothing. But what you do is you take it, just helps you make the cone for your uh dart. And then I just did the cone and then I cut off so where this could fit through. And I just super glued it right here to make it help it stay better. So, yeah, and it fits through there fine. Now I'm going to do a shooting part. So let me go get my homemade target. Um, here's my homemade target. I just took a uh, styrofoam and cut it out in a circle and then drew some circle lines and stands up pretty good. I'm gonna line this up so y'all can see it. I'm gonna show you something else too. This is just, I'm gonna show you a lot of my stuff today. Can you see that? All right, you ready for this? That's my dad, sorry. Alright, well, there's my PVC blowgun. Uh, get that out of the way. And here is my cross, my homemade crossbow. It's pretty sweet. See, I uh, just took rubber bands, cut some lines and some wood. This is my trigger. See, all right. See, uh, right here. This is just two little sticks super glued onto a piece of wood, and then just super glued it right there. So you pull it, and this piece of wood comes out. Let's see, look, I'll show you. See, it comes back. And that's what see that's what it looks like I'll, and watch this see I'll make sure this doesn't pop off but see you pull the trigger and it releases and then it shoots but um here 
is my uh, darts for it. My dog chewed it up, but it's okay. Oops. Really gotta fix these rubber bands. Sorry. It's loaded. It's a blind, so it won't stick in. That. And my little brother will show show something. Uh, but yeah, there's the crossbow. I'll show you. I have a lot to do. This is our grandpa made it for us. It's a uh, mar marshmallow gun. It's just PVC pipe, and uh, he just he's like connected, I guess, and he just spray painted the whole thing blue and he got this we got this for christmas it's really his but we don't have any marshmallows we already use them all but you just see it goes you just put it in right here and it travels down goes out through there but it whenever you shoot it, it'll it'll just go down and hit that so yeah so now you have to put it up there and i but I, now i use darts for it so but that's kind of stupid about that. But all right, let me give you something else. It's still okay. But there's mine. So here's mine. I just made a little video of mine. Here's two more things. First, I'm going to do my three more things. My bad. Hang on. Uh, this is my real blow gun. <laughs> See if I can get back. Um. My grandpa made it for us, for me, for, uh, so I could, because he had it, it was his, and then I really wanted it, so he gave it to me, but that is, you put the tip of your nose right here on that, to, and that tells you that that's where it needs to be, but, um, yeah, it's just this aluminum pipe right here with duct tape on it and I'll go get a dart this is my blunt dart it's just a bamboo skewer and uh, duct tape, and I use the same method like with. Uh, here we go. This to make the comb. But here. See, and that's just a blunt. So, yeah. I have two more things to show. I have this homemade PVC bow that I just, my dad made me. Uh, it's, this is just PVC with duct, with duct tape on it. And it's, uh, we got six foot of it. And then we cut it in half. And we have, we got some string, and he drilled the string. No, he drilled a hole right through here on each side, and we just tied it. And then we took duct tape and made little notches so we can put our fingers. And it is really powerful. I mean, I can I can barely pull it back pretty far. 
but there it is. And we got the PVC at our local hardware store. Same day we got this piece. Last thing. Is this. This thing is freaking crazy. It's um a bigger cross way bigger than this I can see in comparison my grandpa made me this and it's not we're not allowed to hunt with it but I can't I mean I can barely I don't want to pull it back all the way because then I'll have to fire it and it's freezing outside it's snowing so I don't want to and this is the it's kind of like iron sights um, I'll show you this. See, you just cut a little notch right here in it, and then right here he added this little uh, rubber rubber band thing. This is just a bamboo skewer. But, um, yeah, it's sixty pound drawback. Feels like eighty because uh. He just he tightened it for Christmas for me. The trigger mechan mechanism is uh, what you do. You, know, just, you see, as you can see right here, there's this two. These are these two little uh, wood st wooden sticks, and he has them. He had <coughs> some glue to this little wooden bar, and. Uh, as you can see right here, it, when you push it, it just pushes it up. So when this string is in, when is it, it's in here, it just pushes it up, and that just launches it. And this little piece right here, I'll show you the bolt. This, uh, this is the bolt. It's the fletchings are made of duct tape, and the back. So. Um, it's like a golden cap for the string to, that way it doesn't like screw up the stick. And then here is the tip. It's really sharp. This will kill a freaking deer. I got that tip and then I have this tip. You can see the difference. And I have these little ones right here. I just have these for the uh, tips of them, just in case. But, yeah. So, uh, hope you like my video, guys. Hit that like button if you did. And, uh, really appreciate it if you subscribed. Because I have a new channel now. So, yeah. Peace out.